Hello, hello. Hello, hello. How are you? Hello, Yvette. Good evening. How are you? How are you doing today? Can you hear me? Hello, Yvette. Good evening. Hello, Mario. Hello. How are you? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I'm fine. That's good. Hello, Yvette. Can you hear me? Yvette, can you hear me? I think Yvette can't hear me. All right, uh, what information do you remember from yesterday's class? Mario, what information do you remember? Uh, from yesterday, I don't remember because I didn't see the, the videos. Oh, okay, all right. Yesterday we were talking about uh, skimming and scanning. Okay. Do you know what is skimming and scamming? No. Is skimming and scanning is when you are looking at a text and you read a text, but you're not reading for details. You're only reading for uh, something specific, like a general information or something like that. It, not reading in details. Okay. Mm -hmm. So today, we're going to go ahead and look at the first section. The first section that we want to look at is coming from the platform, uh, Inglés Cooperativo, TOEFL 1, Curso de Preparación para TOEFL Modulo 1, Negative Factual Information Questions and Factual Information Questions. Let's listen and watch the video. Okay, thank you. Welcome to TOEFL Preparation Course 1. In this first course, we will show you two types of reading questions, negative factual information questions and factual information questions. If you think you need to take notes, feel free to do so, or you may play this audio program as needed. First, we will show you negative factual information questions. Negative factual information questions ask you to recognize information that is explicitly stated in the text. This may include facts such as major ideas, supporting details, or definitions, except that instead of only one answer being true, three of the four answers are true, and you have to determine which one is false. For negative factual information questions, look for the words NOT or EXCEPT in capital letters. Keep this tip in mind. For the negative factual information questions, remember that you're looking for the answer that either isn't in the paragraph or directly contradicts information in the paragraph. Now let's try a negative factual question. Here's a paragraph about sports and its risks, and here is the answer. To begin with, you know it's a negative factual information question because of the word except in capital letters. So three of the choices are going to match information in the paragraph, 
and only one will not. Let's see how many correct choices we can find by scanning for keywords that appear in the answers, like mountaineers fall, risks, avalanches, and so on. We may also need to look for synonyms of these words. So if we scan the paragraph for some text above false, that corresponds to choice A. We find this and it's a match. For choice C, we found that information here, where it talks about risks. Choice D is here, where it talks about skiers are swept away by avalanches, but there's nothing in the paragraph that talks about storms. So choice B looks like it might be the answer. Therefore, choice B is our answer. All right, uh, so that information, we were looking at that information yesterday. And basically what that's talking about is that when you are going to be answering a type of question that is asking you for factual information, uh, you have to be able to look at specific information. We looked at this video yesterday. Today we're gonna look at the next one. Okay. We will now move on talking about factual information questions. They are similar to the previous type because they ask you to recognize information that is explicitly stated in the text. This may include facts such as mayor ideas, supporting details, or definitions. Factual information questions will have phrases like according to the paragraph or Paragraph X answers which of the following in the question. Here's a tip for answering factual information questions. Don't automatically select an answer just because it contains words or phrases from the paragraph. Make sure you carefully evaluate each option to determine if it is correct. Take a look at sample factual information questions. Go on reading the passage. Remember, factual information questions look for only one right answer. Be careful when selecting your answer, because three of the four answer choices misstate information from the passage or contradict information from the passage. One answer we can definitely eliminate is A, because there's no mention in the paragraph of his pictures were all negative. Choice B is not mentioned at all in the passage either. Choice C looks like what is said here in this paragraph, that the chemicals continue to react and the pictures went dark, might be the information we need. Choice D is incorrect because it says that he found a way to reverse the black and white parts to make positive prints, so it is contradicting one of the choices. That leaves choice C, which is supported by the eighth line from the second paragraph. Therefore, C is the correct answer. All right, uh, so we looked at this information yesterday. So now, today, we're going to move on and look at the next section. This is referring to inference and rhetorical purpose questions. Listen, please. Take notes. Rhetorical purpose questions. Rhetorical purpose questions are similar because they also ask for information not plainly stated. This will ask why the author has presented a particular piece of information. As a tip, if you can't identify the correct answer immediately, one suggested way to approach these types of questions is to eliminate wrong answers. Let's have a look at a question. What can All right, let me have one volunteer, please read the first paragraph. One volunteer, please read the first paragraph. Good evening, teacher. Me. All right, Rodrigo. Go ahead, Rodrigo. Read the first paragraph. Okay, okay. the Mississippi River and its tributaries from the world for longest river system. Two Canadian 
provides in all or parts of 31 states in the United States have rivers that drain into the Mississippi. As the Mississippi River flows down to join, to join the sea, the sea it's, it deposits sand, silt, and clay, building the delta seaward across Louisiana Shallows Continental Shelf. The delta marsh and its base lakes and sounds provide shelters and nutrients for North America's most fertile marine nursery. Excellent. Good pronunciation, Rodrigo. So the first one says it could be inferred from the passage that A, Canada has only two drainage areas in its provinces. Letter B, there are three states, 31 states in the United States. The 31 states mentioned have no other river systems to carry silt, sand, and clay. Some of the silt deposited in the Louisiana Delta is from Canada. Which one do you think is the correct answer? A, B, C, or D? I will let you work in pairs so that you can figure out the correct answer. Please don't finish watching the video. Answer the question first. I'm going to put you in pairs. You will have five minutes to analyze the text and answer the question. Five minutes. Teacher, can you? Uh, can you? Okay. Pair. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, I, please. What do you need? The, the text. The, the picture of the, the text. Okay. Yes. I'm going to send it to the WhatsApp group.
Is everybody finished? Hello, hello. Is everybody finished? Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Marcelo. Are you finished? Uh, I connect right now, teacher. Oh, you just connected? All right. That's yes. okay. We're going to put you in pairs right now. Ah, okay. Give me just a second. And how are you? Fine, fine. Thank you. How was your day? You? Very good. Very I busy. Very busy. Yeah. With a lot of work. That's good. All right. Uh, is everybody finished with the activity? No? Do you need more time? No? No? Yeah. All right. I'm going to give you about five more minutes. Is that okay? Yeah, please. Five more minutes is okay? Okay. All right. Yes. Okay. Five more minutes. Okay, Nidia, Vir, Rodrigo, Ardon, no, you didn't enter in the private section. All right, let's go, let's go. I, I, I was, I was working with with my partner, Rodrigo Ardon. Yes. Yeah, right now you are with Vir. With? Vir. I don't know who is, what is Vir. Uh, Vir is your partner right now, but you need to enter into the private session. Oh, okay, okay. Hello, Julia. Are you working by yourself? <laughs> yes, I was in another group before. Okay, I'm going to put now you I'm with alone. Rodrigo, Ardon, and Vir. I guess. Mm. Do you have okay. the picture or, or do you have the. Hello? Do Hi. you have the picture? Yeah, I, I'm going to read it. Please. Okay, just one second. Okay, so um, the first thing that we have to do is to like eliminate the false um, answers. So definitely, because there are fifty-one states in the in the United States, B can't be the answer. Yeah, this is not the answer. Yeah, that's not the answer. And also the A, the option A, Canada had more than two. Um, I... It's not the answer, too. Mm -hmm. I think it's maybe the letter C. The letter C? Why? Uh, because uh, uh, the passage talk about only 31, but there are there not exist only there is 31. And maybe I think this is the answer. I I th I think it's the letter D because um, in the last like in the last sentence it says the delta mod. So I guess letter B is the wrong question, the wrong answer because it says there are there are thirty one states in the United States, which is not correct. Okay. So that would be the first answer to eliminate. That would be the wrong answer. Yes. Now, letter uh, C says that the 31 states mentioned or have no other river systems to carry salt, sand, and clay that 
is also not correct. Mm -hmm. And then the letter D says some of the silt deposit in the Louisiana Delta is from Canada. So that may be correct because uh, uh, it says that the two Canadian provinces and all of the um, 31 states, so they, they combine when they merge into the Mississippi River. So that could be correct. So um, I'm guessing letter A is saying that Canada has only two drainage areas in its provinces, but I don't think that is correct. No, no. So I'm guessing uh, D would be the right answer. D, okay, yes. Yes, it's right, I think. You agree? Yes, I agree. Okay. And I love the pronunciation. I beg your pardon? I love your pronunciation. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, you it's very, very clear. Have you always studied it here in, in this group or you have taken class before? No, I actually live in the States. That's where I learned English. So I studied over there. Okay. Yeah. And why are you taking the TOEFL? Because of the certification? Yeah, I want to get the certification. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I know English and everything, but I don't have something, you know, something that says that I know English. So I, I'm guessing that you need to be certified. Yes, yes. It work as a translator over here. Okay. Have you applied to translate books or something like that? Yeah, I work online uh, translating uh, like applications for the U.S. Embassy and also um, uh, several side jobs <laughs> translating. Okay. okay. Do you translate for events like conference and something like that? Sometimes I have, I have, I have done that uh, okay. several times. I used to work as a translator in Mexico, so I used to live there for three years, and that's where I used to work. As a you lived in Mexico? Yeah, in Oaxaca. Oh, beautiful Oaxaca. Yeah. All right, all right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Is everybody finished? Yes. Yes. All right. Who can tell me what is the correct answer in this text? A. B. Letter D. Letter D. Some of the slit deposits in the Louisiana Delta is from Canada. Let's check. It gets frozen. All right. Now we're going to look at the following video. Negative factual information questions. Negative factual information questions. Instructions. Read each passage. Choose the letter of the word or phrase that best completes the sentence that follows it. 
So you're going to read the passage, complete the section that best completes the sentence. You will have 10 minutes. I would like for you to work in pairs. You will have 10 minutes. You will work in pairs. Are you ready? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Let's go. Yes, teacher. Let's do it. Nidia, you need to go. Yes. Maribel, let's go. Evelyn Hovel, let's go, please. Maribel, let's go. Evelyn Hovel, let's go. Doesn't, doesn't appear the, the message. Mm, let me see. Entrar a sesión de grupo pequeño. Okay, Maribel. The settlement. Mm. <laughs> Did you feel? Just I I just read the third paragraph and <laughs> maybe I have the main idea, but in some parts I feel a little confused. <laughs> yes, because the words are very difficult. Some of them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me see. Roman report, yeah. Triple count, yeah. Straight journal, yeah. Well, maybe in the number one, I, I think that is history books. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, do you read the second one? Yes. Oh, you read all paragraph. Yes, but I, I had a problem with the paragraph four. Because I, I, four, yes, I have about the answer. <laughs> oh, it's because there are a lot of new words for me. <laughs> no, in the in the question in the read three was oh. I have about Number three is not the same like the uh, video, the storms. 
Yes. Uh, and in the question when when say the outer mention all of the following as the pearl divers on oh, the water okay. activities. Is oh, the number okay. four. Yes, yes. Yes, and then the number four was I I had problems. <laughs> mm. Perhaps one of the most Okay, then. Hi, what are you talking about? Hello. Hi. What, we, what are you talking about? We are discussing the question three. Well, and we, we said that the answer was storms. And now we are going um, to look for the fourth the fourth question. So I lost. I lost. <laughs> we are already working a platform. Uh -huh, on the platform. Yes, in a, in a part of negative factual information questions. But it's about yesterday. That. No. 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 Inference. What? What? What was the the answer of in in inference about the river? Este. What? What was the 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 answer? Letter A. D. Which one? I think about D. About the inference and rhetorical. What were? What was the the answer? Letter A or letter D? D. D. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. Then what's the other one? Oh my God. The, the first one of the the exercise that we are doing right now. Sorry that I, I couldn't hear your question. Maribel? Hi, hi. What, what, what was your question? My question? I don't yeah. know. I don't know what the question of the, on, of the, of the, this moment. I don't know. I lost, I lost. I am losing. Losing. Como se dice perdido, Dios santo. Lose. Loser. <laughs> Losing. Losing. Oh, losing. Loser. My <laughs> God. Oh, you are too bad. You're mean. Inference questions. Identify information or comprehend an idea that is not plainly in the reading. Can you pause that? Yeah, we are in the negative factual information questions. Mm -hmm. 